What is a pod? You might have heard that Kubernetes is a platform for managing containerized workloads and services. It's true, but the minimal unit that Kubernetes can manage is not a container. It's a pod. And what is a pod? A pod is a set of one or more containers. When I first heard about the pod terminology, I thought that pod referred to a capsule or a peapod. I don't know if you're a native English speaker, I'm not, but I had an epiphany when I learned about the actual reasoning behind the pod terminology. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, a pod is a number of animals, such as whales, clustered together. And when you realize that the most popular container format by now has a whale as the logo, naming a set of containers as a pod makes total sense. Even though you can run multiple containers within the same pod, most of the time you have just one container in a pod. Some advanced use cases like running applications with a service mesh, for example, will use more than one container in the same pod. Some characteristics of a pod are all containers in a pod are always executed in the same node of your cluster. Since they are in the same node, all containers in a pod share the same network stack, IP address, and ports. For this reason, they can communicate through localhost. All containers in a pod share the same life cycle. So if Kubernetes detects that one of the containers in the pod is unhealthy, then Kubernetes will terminate the entire pod and recreate it again. Let's create a pod in my Kubernetes cluster. First, let's take a look at this YAML file. You can see that my YAML file contains the kind pod, also the name, and the container image, which is this one, key.io slash rhdeveloper slash quarkus dash demo. Let's see what happens when I apply this YAML to my Kubernetes cluster. You can see that as soon as I apply the YAML file, a pod was created and it's already running. You can check that in the lower side of the screen. And once I have my pod running in Kubernetes, I can get the pods that are running in my namespace with the command kubectl get pods. And you notice that pods works uh, both in plural and in singular. Or, or pods also have a nickname called PO. PO all get the same result. So it's running, and what happens when I delete this pod? kubectl delete pod quarkus dash demo. The pod is being terminated and it will be gone very soon. And why is that? Because Kubernetes is not managing this pod because I didn't use a replica set or a deployment. So that's why we don't use pod directly. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.